When I woke up this morning, I was feeling pretty dangerous. We're on to Cincinnati. It's my team. It's my quarterback. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Hello? You play to win the game. They want you to cook the dinner. At least they ought to let you shop for some of the groceries. And on the way up, we're going to buy the kneecap off. Playoffs? You kidding me? I'm just here so I won't get fined. How can you not be romantic about football, man? Oh, welcome to Bench with Bonetta. It is Super Bowl week, baby. So buckle up. Listen, every time I listen to a podcast and they're like, oh my God, audio issues. This person couldn't work their mic. I'm like, oh my God, nobody cares. But this time you have to know that we just spent the last 35 minutes figuring out some audio because it is so imperative that this woman joins this show. I am joined by two of my favorite gals in comedy and sports, Megan Gailey, Sarah Tiana. Can everyone hear? Is everyone good? I'm obsessed with both of you. Thank you for being on the show. I love you guys. Uh, should yes. we harmonize like a yeah? I should have gone. All right, perfect. Gone we're good. Good. Meg, what was that journey like? <laughs> you were just so dedicated to fixing the audio situation, and we really appreciate it. Roger Goodell dropped the ball, is what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, I was able to catch up on some tweet Twitter. <laughs> I was like sitting here going, I could have showered, oh. um, but I didn't, and that's. <laughs> And but like that's who you want. You want unshowered, tired, confused. I want Megan. the real you. And yeah. I'm so grateful that you guys are here, especially this week. Like I saved the best guests for one of the last episodes of the year. Um, obviously, we're going to get to the Super Bowl. We're going to break it down. We're going to be really smart for y'all. But first things first, I want to talk about the dumber version of the, the Super Bowl, which is the Pro Bowl, <laughs> which we all loved. No, I'm saying I'm saying in a light, fun way. We love the Pro Bowl. 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 Love uh, it. Sarah, you, you like couldn't stop watching it this weekend. I... You had it on in the car. I had it on in the car. <laughs> like I, first of all, I was like, I just put it on passively on Sunday uh -huh. I was you know and then all of a sudden I was hooked and I was so invested in the NFC winning because when uh -huh. you've been just hurt by your Falcons all year you're like yeah. oh I want to cheer for what's it like to cheer for players that are good uh -huh. and so uh -huh. I was I was hooked I put it on in the car but I thought the best catch competition was by far the coolest thing that they did yeah it was like their version of the slam dunk contest and I wish more people had done it mm -hmm. but when they were just like kind of setting it up, they were showing Amon Ra St. Brown in the pool, like jumping and catching the ball to mm -hmm. practice. And mm -hmm. I was like, and I don't know if you've ever seen Amon Ra with his shirt off, but he is maybe the most perfect yes. Yes. man I've ever seen. Uh -huh. And yeah. having him jump into a pool over and over again to catch a football is, I think, Thank you. one <laughs> of the greatest decisions the NFL has ever made. It's also a challenge that has been on RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh! Um, so they, I love they took a page from World of Wonder. Just find I that really, creativity so, anywhere. I, uh, full disclosure, was at a lake house in Indiana with 12 sorority okay, sisters break. this past weekend. Okay, break. So uh, the Pro Bowl was not on the TV, but I have catch up, caught up on the clips. And I think the lightning in a bottle of having two brothers mm. competing in terms of Peyton and Eli, that raises the stakes. It's like, we need that. We, and let's pick brothers from middle America that have never played football <laughs> and have to coach, you know, have bragging rights of who mom likes the best on the line. Um, and then also getting to see like the mediocre players <laughs> with the stars. Cause uh -huh. like, by the time the Pro Bowl gets there, you go, it's a grab bag. Uh, we do have some Pro Bowlers, and we do have some guys that were just free. Just there. And I really <laughs> Schedule is love open. seeing. Yes, I love seeing that because you're like, Derek Carr, this is the most passionate I've seen you all year. For sure. Well, and did you I see the video was... of him was just like, you know, uh, the, like you played so well. Yeah, it's the like, well, that's so the best funny. I play. It's probably why I'm not here anymore. It's like, oh, very funny. Oh. And. And I, when a, when a Jesus guy can go out and do a laugh, that I say, <laughs> first of all, laugh. double threat. Sarah, what were you going to say? I interrupted you. Oh, I was just going to say that I think that the flag football game was really fun because A, these guys grew up playing flag football. So it mm -hmm. was like a lot of stuff that they hadn't done since they were younger. Their helmets are off. They're talking way more smack. At one point, Stefan th Diggs threw an interception to Trayvon. Yes. So it yes. was like... It was it Brothers. was like perfect harmony, and then you had like 
kind of older play like Michael Vick was like throwing passes in the best catch competition mm -hmm. Jimmy Clausen was there like I'm yeah. like Jimmy Clausen like I remember when he was at Notre Dame and I was like uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it was, I thought it was really well done, really well executed. Agreed. I thought the stakes were raised. I thought it was really fun to watch. I also think I, it like kind of gave us some ease. Like I feel like people love to make fun of the Pro Bowl. Like, oh, no one's playing yeah. in it. And like, also when you're watching, you're like, oh God, just please nobody get hurt. But then, this yeah. totally took that off the table. It's like, right. you could see how much joy fun. these guys had. They were like, this is fun. And I feel like the guys mm -hmm. that didn't participate this year, they all saw what we saw. And they're like, I'm definitely yeah. going to do that next year. And then that's just going to make it more and more interesting for us to watch. I think they nailed it. And with the $42,000 on the line, which I know might sound like, oh, NFL players are fine with that money. But like, I'm sorry, they could probably cash that check in any casino in Vegas. Oh! And it's the absolute perfect place to have $42,000 on the line. Absolutely. Like, this is weekend spending money for these guys. Um, and now I'm sure they're betting that check against each other. Like, it's just... Go get it nice creates watch. camaraderie and fun. Um, I really just like the hats, the accessories yes. that they were able to to be able to run full speed in a bucket. I hat. loved this moment. This yeah. is so Feed good. Yeah. Do you guys think he snapped one single picture? I don't sure. think I've seen Absolutely. the other side, the actual picture yet. So I'm thinking he oh, did not right. press the button one time, or else that would have definitely gone viral by now. I think um, if anyone yeah. knows how to use a camera, it's Stefan Diggs. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, brothers was was the was the overarching theme, right? But Meg, you're yeah. a huge. You're obviously a Manning stan with your your yeah. Colts fandom. There was there was quite a little bit of some uh, multiple temper tantrums thrown, might I say, yeah. by Peyton, and he was getting fully into it. So just you know, mm -hmm. represent your boy. Are you are you happy with this much enthusiasm? Where you're like, okay, well, cool. This is Pro Bowl. I don't even think of them as temper tantrums. Oh. I think that's how Peyton is everywhere like, <laughs> he, it almost seems like he's gotten more competitive since retiring like he's like well this is all i have i have mm. to win the pro bowl <laughs> um and i love to see it i think he's right and <laughs> i i think if you're not upset then what are we even doing i honestly you know? think like, they should it, coach they should coach every single year it like it, they were was, just as yes. much of the entertainment in my opinion it was giving Thanksgiving vibes yes. of like, oh, they're not going to be able to come back inside after this. <laughs> and so that's why I think like we don't even need famous brothers. It's like you can have my brother Ryan and Michael and <laughs> I know that they will bring up something that happened in 1994. And, and I'm like, watching that. I'm watching yes. that. I like the brother aspect. Like, I think Travis and Jason could do it. I think the Cook oh. brothers could do yes. it. And also, I think the NFL is ripe with Eskimo brothers. So we could just <laughs> use that. Um, okay, where do, we, where do we stand on Pete Davidson <laughs> at this point in time? Because he, he was even oh like, God. why am I here? Yeah. Holding up mm -hmm. a 69. He's got a totally, completely shaved head. Where, where do we sit? Where, I don't know how, what to think or feel about Oh, we about know why Pete him. Davidson was there. We know why Pete Davidson was there. Why? <laughs> because it's, you know who follows it, men in the Pro Bowl to Vegas. <laughs> he, he seems like a massive get for them, though. Like, really had to call in some favors. It is nice to see him with all these men that are so much hotter. And hopefully you can kind of, yeah. Cause uh, the word on the street is that Pete Davidson's just really good at listening to women. And that's <laughs> why he get like, he no, just like is, is has makes eye contact and nods his head. And we're like, yes, this is all we've been waiting for. I think there's definitely some pro bowlers that could probably learn. take some dating mm -hmm. advice. Yes, learn a thing from, or two from Pete. So it's sort of like uh, a relation. I'm giving you this. I get to hang out with you. He looked <laughs> never worse. <laughs> and that was <laughs> Not a time that he's looked worse. <laughs> never worse. Never worse. And it's like Vegas. There's sun there. You oh, know oh, to have the attitude of Pete Davidson to be like, I can get whomever I want. I can shave my mm -hmm. head. I can wear these mm -hmm loser ass glasses i can yeah. hold up a 69 and be like yeah. i'm still gonna get all y'all gar all y'all i knew that was gonna be his score before of he even did. like he laughed and i was like he's 
he's gonna score 69. <laughs> okay. And it's like and then, Derek Carr had a better bit than that. You know, like this yeah. is, we're talking a former <laughs> SNL member. And you're you're getting beat out comedy skill wise by a man who can't find a team right now. Just doesn't okay. Doesn't need to try. Doesn't need to try. Lauren Lauren Michaels needs to be recruiting at the Pro Bowl. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's talk NFL honors. That's this week. I get to do the red carpet. I'm so excited. Um. I want your guys' quick thoughts on who you think should win a couple of awards. Let's start with MVP. We got Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson, and Patrick Mahomes. Sarah, I'll start with you. Who do you like for MVP? Man, I got to I I I still love Joe Burrow this year. Aww. Like I I just felt like what he has done all year. Like that team was kind of trash at the beginning. Mm-hmm. He's playing behind a second string offensive line. He always keeps his cool. He he's always in the media for the right reasons. Yes. You know what I mean? Like he's on the right side of of uh, politics of his team of leadership he is joe cool he's never flustered he's he's just uh, to me like the the essence of a leader and that's very difficult for me to say about someone that went to lsu but i do think this year really showed you know why he is joe cool like he they kept steady they had all the way one and and i'm sorry but i still think it's called burrow head no offense oh, but like no that, what? what do you mean every game has come Shut down mouth, I know you're wrong. anyway and the and the and you're gonna the get chief. called a jabroni I i've honestly that's googled Sarah. jabroni several times being like is this word offensive? i'm sorry but <laughs> if it's not for a penalty jabroni. i don't think they make that kick i don't think they make that kick <gasps> no, and, and by the way burrow did not win that game either but you know, I think I think it's more referee head, like Danny Woodhead said. But I, but I think <laughs> I think Joe Burrow. And listen, me. we've all given referee head. So Whoa! <laughs> that's what Danny Woodhead called it after that game. <laughs> Maggie, who are you going with for MVP? Uh, I mean, I've really fallen in love with him, and it's Jalen Hurts. Yeah. And who hasn't? I, I know it's a regular season award, but it's so hard to not be like, okay, but look who's in the Super Bowl. And I honestly think those games that he was away, it really was distance makes mm-hmm. the heart grow fonder. Yeah. And it kind of just confirmed his resume even more. I find him to be so Sears catalog charming. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, yes, you you are a banana split. Like, you are just a, a, a Sunday that every kid wants to order. Like, the smile, the fact that he has a female agent. Oh, he's just perfect. And he really, he's so almost unassuming. And I think you look at everything college on, like, since if, if we're bringing up LSU for Joe Burrow, you go, this is someone who's really gone through a, a roller coaster of mm-hmm. his career and being doubted. And it would be such an incredible cherry on top to win MVP. Absolutely. Yeah. I love him. He just seems like I mean, such I a remember... good, like, he, he, he just seems also absolutely loved by everyone on his team. Too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, and I loves football. Him. There's like a joy to him. Yeah. Uh, that is Pro Bowl esque, where it's like he is having fun. He seems cool. It's it doesn't it doesn't feel put on. And even everyone you named in the category, it's like it's really a feel good crew. It's yeah. kind of how I feel about the Super Bowl, unfortunately. I'm like, ah, we've got we've got Anna and Elsa, you know, like we've got two <laughs> stars here. Yeah. I want them both to win. Okay. You know what? Screw talking about NFL honors because I know you guys don't have a ton of time. So I want to get to the big dance because there, we have to talk about Tom Brady's half naked photo still. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So the Super Bowl field Yates just tweeted this out and it just goes to show you how insane. I mean, knock on wood. It could, I feel like any game that's like, Oh my God, this is going to be a million points scored. It's going to be so much fun. That never happens. But listen to this. Okay. Chiefs and Eagles, both 16, and three overall chiefs and eagles both 546 points scored during the season they both have six all pros chiefs afc one seed eagles nfc one seed but you you truly we do have the best teams playing in the super bowl this year um Mm -hmm. so i want your guys picks eagles favored by one and a half megan i'll start with you who you going with so I picked the Chiefs to beat the Bengals, and I was the only person on the extra points crew, and I'm yep. still awaiting some payment for that. <laughs> and I 
I think when you count out this Chiefs team, you make a drastic miscalculation because and and I rooted for a team that was all offense and then it'd be like, can the defense show up? This defense does end up showing up. Mm-hmm. Chris Jones, incredible when you need him yes. to be. Patrick Mahomes on one foot was able to do it. Stupid. Uh, I do want that man in Philadelphia to celebrate by eating horse poop again. No, so I we am don't torn that. emotionally. We don't I'm torn emotionally. I just think everyone is so high on this Eagles team. But this Chiefs team, they've done it. They've been there pretty close to what this unit is, minus Tyreek. Mm -hmm. And I think they've got a lot to throw at you that I think the Chiefs could surprise everybody and take this one. Okay, so you're going Chiefs. Sarah, what about you? Yeah, I think that, I mean, I I have not liked the Eagles all year. I haven't thought that they were nearly what everybody has claimed them to be just based on strength of schedule. And I know that that's a tired talking point and I know that everybody continues to talk about it, but honestly, Billy Joel played the West coast more than they did last year. <laughs> and I just feel like it is very like, I think the Eagles on paper should win this game. I don't know if they mm-hmm. can, I think it will come down to coaching. And I think Andy Reid wins that hands down. I mean, it's so hard. I think the Chiefs are going to take it. It's hard to get bet against a, what you were saying, Megan, they've just been in this spot so many times yeah. recently that it's like any, t- and you could tell last week or a week ago, whatever that the Burrowhead thing really got into their bones. Like they yeah. were pissed. And I even think like Eagles are like, everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. Don't say anything. Oh, <laughs> like, don't ever. Like, I'm like, do, do, do. Nick Sirianni's daughter. Keep it quiet. You know, yeah. don't yeah. say anything. <laughs> her. I, she's it, an kid. MVP. Oh yeah. She's an MVP candidate. Obviously yes. Taylor. Love her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, Arrowhead, that both of these teams have such rabid fan bases too mm-hmm. that I do hope that this is one of those Super Bowls that the that they do travel well and it does end up having a really good environment yeah. for them and Rihanna, obviously. Uh-huh. And I and I really want I am so against them moving the NFC championship and the AFC championship game to a neutral site. And I'm almost like, gosh, I hope this game doesn't feel like an outlier because it's like not everybody is a Chiefs or Eagles fan and they can't all go places. But I think this has the possibility to to feel electric there. Yeah. When they sometimes cannot. Absolutely. I'm so excited for this Super Bowl. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up, we're going to talk about Naked Tom Brady. Don't go anywhere. Woo! <laughs> All right, ladies, I want your quick thoughts on the thought of the day, which is Tom Brady. <laughs> I think y'all. I don't know. If he's if, modeling for his undies. He's put. He, I think this this is the first trap, thirst trap, uh, mm-hmm. post Giselle. Mm-hmm. What are your mm-hmm. just like quick overarching thoughts? Is this sad? Is it empowering? Are you loving? Are you hating? I felt spicy even having it up in the cafeteria when I first thought I was like, oh my god, Tom. Yeah, Sarah, you go first. Sarah, you go first. Sarah, what do you think? No, I don't even know what to say about it. Like I'm just so perplexed it feels so unlike him yeah i didn't even and, like it i didn't i wasn't even like oh no. whoa, 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 whoa. i was like and it, listen he's okay? one of the hottest men in the world i For should sure. like it but i'm just like what ha- what why yeah. what are, what are, okay all right, all right. i'm okay. i'm hearing i'm hearing everything you're saying <laughs> counterpoint <laughs> i love it and not even not even how it not how he looks it's like this is what I would do. Huh? And so when you go, you're the greatest of all time and you're just a thirsty b- of the day. <laughs> and like, there's no amount of rings. There's no amount of accolades. Uh-uh. We all need to sit in what might be a hotel room or what might be a property of his and go, I need people to tell me I'm pretty. Mm-hmm. And that is so human and so relatable. Oh, wow. And then to also cover his privates with his hand, I go, he's a little boy. It's so <laughs> it is very, it's a vulnerable ass picture. Uh, Sarah, are you going like, to cry? <laughs> I go, where are you? Oh, like, I just, it really Have you had breakfast felt, today? It felt so 
<laughs> so <laughs> common. And I love when the stars are just like us and are like, oh. listen, I'm in Mexico. I had Montezuma's revenge and the ads are popping. <laughs> Let's document. I know. It's like, it's a, is it 80 for Brady or is it a d for every woman who hey! follows Brady on Instagram? I love that. Um, who would you guys like to set him up with? Like, who would you be happy to see him with? I want him and Giselle back together. Yeah, me too, me too. I like <laughs> want, I want that to be whatever the sequel to 80 for Brady is, is him being like, I realized the error of my ways. And like, if a she needs to love bring, story. Which, yeah. And I'm not even someone who likes him, but his video, his retirement video, I found to be so heartfelt. It <laughs> yeah, was. Very, I mean, it it was. Emotional. We're on the same page. He is like really hitting me at my heartstrings somewhere. I have turned a corner and I am like, I want him and Giselle back together. Okay. And I want him eating tomatoes. I want him celebrating and having a great post-retirement life. I love that. Yeah, I don't even know who is like up there. I don't think like, there anybody even, else exists. I don't think because, anybody like, else on that level. Like Chris and I were talking about how like it's like maybe like Kobe Kobe's widow would be like the only person who's even like been <gasps> down to greatness oh, wow. that I much. That. You know what I mean? I but I can't that. see her dating anyone else either. You know, no, like I have I have wondered a lot what her DMs look like. And I bet right. it is spice. A who's who of like married and not married. Like <gasps> I bet it's I bet it's star studded Oscar. Yeah, level. like I think what I if, pay money if to take Brady a ends up going yeah. out with a girl that got pregnant by Blake Griffin and Matt Liner? You know what I mean? Like it's gonna be like so. Yeah. What, what if it is he, like a Meghan Markle esque goes... kind of like a woman that's just like plucked from you know not, she was an actress oh, but like I thought you meant just... a princess I'm like yes Camilla well it would be when on the same steal, <laughs> he steals Camilla from Prince Charles right before she was about to become queen queen that would be that's pretty next level I would watch that Netflix documentary for sure yes. I mean if Prince William and and Kate ever break up that's literally He's sliding in kind of perfect yeah. um okay so the... I, yeah. Uh, the big storyline this week was that somebody went to the spot that he retired, gathered like a jar of sand. It is now almost at $100,000 bidding. Like over 100 people have bid on it. I don't know if they're like real bidders and have the money, but whatever. That's what it's at. So I wanted to ask you guys, what would you... I'm giving you... Uh, an unlimited amount of money, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of different options for you to spend said money on, uh, and you have to pick one of these things, okay? okay? Elvis's cup of water. Disgusting. A few tablespoons of liquid, apparently. Absolutely mm -hmm. gross. Uh, air from the last Kobe Bryant game, which somebody actually sold, I think successfully, online. Uh, the Derek Jeter gift baskets that he used to send home with the lovely women that he spent the evening with. Um, Paul Pierce's wheelchair. Uh, or the sand. What are you guys going with? Megan, I'll start with you. What are you spending? I'm giving all the money that you need for any of these I, items. I want the gift basket. I okay. always have. I always okay. will. Okay. I almost think, I think it would be fun to see like what sort of retro products he was putting in there. Was it like a jelly sandal? Um, <laughs> but I'd also <laughs> be like, Derek, can I get like an updated, what is like, is it a gift certificate to go get Botox? Like, is it a BBL? What wow. is, the, what is the 2023 version of the Derek Jeter? I'll take the old one and the new one. And if he's throwing in a romp in the bed, my husband will be fine with it. I was under the impression it was like signed memorabilia oh, of is. his, like it cards, bobbleheads, like, that. No, those were the gift I would have No, I believe it was food. A baseball. Yeah. I don't know if it was a picture. But You're right. That is a solid baseball. one. I would go with that. Um, too. Sarah, what do you got? I would with? take a Derek Jeter signed baseball. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would take a Derek Jeter signed anything. Um, I mean, I guess, oh my God, unlimited amount of money. I I would take the sand. I would take the sand. Really? From Tom Brady's beach. And I would say this is from the sands of his hourglass, which we know is never running out. <laughs> time, because uh, this will keep me young forever like Tom Brady. Would you, mm -hmm. I mean, they should have just done that. Should have just bought a bunch of empty hourglasses, filled it with uh -huh. the sand and just, you know, sold it. That's creative. Instead of just throwing it in a jar. By the <laughs> way, I bet you if you went to that place on the beach, there's just a gigantic hole now. Because everyone's just scooped the sand oh, from that spot. Yeah. And I find sand to be disgusting. Gross. I don't want that. Um, I would net like 
the sand in my suitcase I don't want. So I definitely don't want the random <laughs> sand this man has been sitting on. Um, Guys, I love you. Thank you for bearing with our audio issues and sticking around. Y'all are the best. Um, where can we find you? I know you guys are performing all the time. Sarah, I'll start with you. You got a comedy special that comes out today? Yes, my comedy special, 44, comes out today on Moment. You can buy tickets. Uh, you can watch it for the entire next, I believe, the next four weeks on moment you can buy tickets on any of my socials it's just at sarah tiana sarah with an h tiana with a tiana and it's great i got to see it live and i cried afterwards when i was hugging <laughs> you i was so <laughs> you proud did. of you you were just so <laughs> awesome it was so fun to watch live and in person megan what about you I can't wait to see the special. I, you should just go watch Sarah's special. <laughs> I, <know>. um, <laughs> uh, I, host, I host another sports podcast uh, called Megan Fun of Sports uh, that you can find on the Extra Points Network. And then if you like Lifetime movies, I hope I host the Lifetime podcast too. But I post so everything fun. on Twitter at Megan Gailey, You're G-A-I-L-E-Y. So... Yeah, that's where you can find me. <laughs> and y'all are both badass women taking care of the future leaders of our generation. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Rich. Okay, Thank bye. you. Go Rihanna. Go Rihanna. I can't wait. I'm going to cry when I see her. It's the best. All right, it is time for the best and the worst thing that I saw all week. Where's my camera? There it is. Okay, the best thing that I saw. This was really sweet and heartfelt. Jared Goff, he had a message to Derek Carr on switching teams. I'll read it to you. It's very sweet. This is what Jared Goff said. There's definitely life on the other side. Oftentimes, a really great life. Uh... Oh, there's definitely life on the other side. Oftentimes a really great life. We had a really good talk about it earlier this week. I think his head is in a great place about it. Whatever ends up happening with him. Honestly, what better person to talk to about this? I believe that Derek Carr is going to be fine. I'm very interested to see where he goes. Um, glad that he was able to have a fun Pro Bowl. Okay, and then the worst thing that I saw is Pete Davidson at the Pro Bowl. Why? Guys, what are we doing? Why do we need that? I don't get it. I don't, like... <laughs> He looks like a worm. And I don't like worms. I'm sure he's a lovely guy. I think he's very funny. But even he was like, why am I here? I think he's just obsessed with Eli. I've seen a lot of commercials with them. And he seems genuinely in love with Eli Manning. <laughs> oh, fine. He's fine. I just don't get it. Whatever. Uh, okay, guys, that is our last show before the Super Bowl. We are going to... Well, actually, that's not even true. We're going to be back on Friday with a new episode post-NFL honors, post my red carpet experience. So make sure you're tuning in for that. Uh, we got a lot going on. I go to Arizona on Wednesday. If you are there, please say hi if you see me, but not if it's in the middle of a Rihanna song. Okay? Maybe be left to my own devices when that is happening. Um... Guys, thanks for listening this week. Huge shout outs to our guests, Megan Gilly, Sarah Tiana. Huge shout outs to the crew that's been keeping this show alive all year long. Uh, I'll see you in Arizona, baby. How about that? Bye.